Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will talk about uh, miRNA expression analysis. Uh, previously, uh, in my channel, you can see that I have uploaded multiple tutorials, starting from RNA expression analysis using microarray data, RNA expression analysis using RNA seq data, that is RNA sequencing analysis, then whole genome sequencing data analysis, and then copy number variation analysis. But one th and also methylation analysis uh, for the chip data. One thing I uh, was uh, already missing, and that was that miRNA expression analysis. That how to identify the differential expression, differentially expressed microRNAs in different uh, in that population of or in between the two groups. So for that, uh, in this tutorial, I will talk about the microRNA expression analysis using micro, micro, microarray data. So uh, you know there are two main uh, uh, famously uh, used platforms. One is the FE matrix and one is the uh, Agilent. So most of my tutorials are follows, uh, followed the FE matrix platform. So here I'm using uh, Agilent uh, to show you that how it is different and how it is same. So the first few lines are for installing different packages. That is FE, FE is for FE matrix, and then FE PLM is for FE matrix. Then Lima is actually a common common uh, package for both Agilent and FE matrix. So uh, let's go and start doing it. So for after, you know, after running the, after installing the packages, what you have to do is to, you have to call the packages, like just run it through and it will library FA and so on, FA, PLM, Lima, and FA comp. So all of these are now loaded. So what, what is the next thing? Uh, this is a common practice because I'm, I'm not going into the detail of these, how to load the library because in the previous tutorial I've already show, showed, explained, uh, and yeah. So what's next? Next thing is uh, I have to use some data set micro RNA microarray data set to analyze here. So here what that I'm using is with the name of with the platform with the uh, is the Agilent platform and this is the excision number from C, uh, from Geo and CBI. So I will just show you here to, if I just write GSE this GSE is the uh, C identifier or you can say excision number of this series, which is available on GEO and CBI. So what you can see here is that this is a data set and it is of non-coding RNA, that is micro RNA uh, experiment type. Uh, you can see in the, in the summary, this is micro RNA expression profiles between healthy, high risk, stable NG, this is angina, I think. This is cardiovascular disease data from an organization like you can see a National Center for Cardiovascular Diseases. So this data is from microRNA and it is of the Agilent platform and there are total number of 35 samples. There are different groups, for instance, that is healthy, high risk, stable angina and other uh, data sets. So it, I have already downloaded this. I have before explaining it to you, I've already performed it. So what I've done here is I first downloaded this GSE 6672 raw files. If you click it, it will be downloaded. And I have stored it somewhere here in E microRNA. I made a folder here. For instance, if I go here, I write E, E, and then this is microRNA. This was the zip file, and then I unzipped it. And then I unzipped the rest of the files. So the next thing is, after uh, downloading it, unzipping it, and putting it into the folder, the first thing what we do in microRNA analysis is to call the files. So using this function, list.file functions here, I just uh, use the variable data underscore files and then using list.file function, uh, I have listed all those files into this variable. So if I click this, you can see that it is already run. And if I sh show you that what is stored in data files is the is uh, sorry first i need to run the working directory i forgot to run it and now what does this mean by work setting up the working directory means that now whatever i'll do 
will be stored uh, will be done in this directory and i made a mistake by not first setting it as a working directory and it it just went into the c folder or the default folder and listed whatever is present in that folder and the, that was actually these couple of files c.txt new file.txt but now after setting the working directory if i click this you can see the difference here right now all those files which were present in this folder here and this folder here are actually saved into this variable so it was good that i made the mistake so if but somebody didn't knew before that what is the difference by what does it make a difference by setting up a working directory one is that uh, it another important feature uh, reason is that all those you don't have to call the whole directory and put all the destination again and again and you can just do it by writing the file name or writing the variable name and so on and so forth the next one is uh, that using this command right using this command this is a bit different from uh, the fe matrix command uh, this is one of the very few differences between that that using this read dot ma ma images files uh, that the files that are stored in the data files and then the source is agilent and i've put it uh, green dot only true here and if you just write run this command it will read all the data files and and store it in data right now this is not actually normalized but it is just stored uh, stored in this in this data file so what we have to do is to normalize this data raw data in using the normalize between arrays command so i will save the normalized in normalized underscore data then normalized using the function normalize between arrays using the data which is actually stored from the previous command so if i run this one it will start normalizing it is already done right so what is the different uh, the normalized data is actually just the normalized values of all the expression all the expression values right so for instance yeah it's not very uh, it is a big file it contains all the probe ids the expression of all the probe ids of non coding rnas or micro rnas so, uh, so uh, it it's not part of this uh, beyond the scope of this tutorial that what does this mean like uh, how we can use this there are different ways if uh, we can use this normalized expression data for example if you are we don't want to find the top differentially expressed to differentially expressed micro rnas and we just want to see the expression of micro rna so we can use this information that what is the expression of any specific micro rna in each sample for example there were 35 samples here so the expression of any micro rna in all 35 samples can be extracted from this normalized expression data value so you can save it write it into write.csv and save it into a normalized expression with the uh, variable normalized expression and you can save it in the in your directory or folder and then you can access it and you can see that there is the, there is a specific value for each micro rna in each sample right but what we are doing here is that now we using the normalized expression data we want to do the differential expression and we want to see the different differentially expressed micro rnas between two conditions so you remember that there were different conditions for instance there were some healthy patients and then there were high risk and angina patients and cardiovascular disease patients so what we have done here is we have already made a meta file from that file for that uh, this is the file meta using all the uh, sample names and i have divided into two groups one is the just for example here all of them are divided into disease and the other ones are healthy so uh, these two groups are divided based on the 35 samples are divided based on one uh, most of them 28 or 27 are diseased patient and the rest of them are healthy right so what's next so then the next thing is uh using this uh command you can 
uh, you, using this command, you can read the file. You know that the read.csv file is for reading the file. Meta.csv is the name of the file. And then if you click this one and you can see that the conditions are the head uses the for if you want to see the top five values of the file. So these are uh, the first four, uh, five, which were the disease I showed you in the in the in the for, in the Excel file. So using the factor uh, command as a and and as a condition, and you we we want to use actually what this uh, command is doing here is uh, is actually using the condition variable which is in the column two as the factor for conditions for the differential expression analysis or the factor in differential expression analysis like disease versus healthy right so now if you see here i make this one and if i just run this command you can see that there are two levels one is the disease and the other one is healthy which these are the two factors uh, from the excel file of that uh, the or you can say the csv file and now we want to make the design like we are seeing that this is the design of the matrix there are two groups one is the one is the condition uh, is one is zero and one is other one is one zero is for the disease and one is for the healthy and now everything is ready no, the data is normalized the meta file is called and then the and which is actually divided into two conditions one is disease another one is healthy and now using the lm fit command there are two basic commands for differential expression so lm fit command will actually normalize the command and then ebase fit command using that fit uh, variable uh, the 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 values which were actually using the lmfit command which were uh, saved in fit can be further used here and then if you click this one now here now we have the list of all the differentially expressed microRNAs which are actually stored in fit right and what we want to do here is we want to make a table and we want to save that into the results based on the false discovery rate we can change this like for using the p values and we want to adjust using p values and whatever but here it is uh, i would just it using fdr and fit is the, everything which is stored in this fit using ebase and lm, LM fit command and now if i run this results top table and, and run it it will save everything in results right or we can see it the top from here as well like for example if i write head uh, sorry head results you can see the top five uh differentially expressed microRNAs here uh i'll show you in the results just don't worry and like for example this is the probe id this is the micro rna this is the log fold change and this is the p value so on and so forth but i want to save it here this results into a csv file just go there run it and now the whole file is saved here right and then if i go and show you in the folder let's see this one new new just for you i made it again it was already made just to show how to make it so all the micro rnas the list of all the micro rnas which are differentially expressed so there are fifty six thousand micro rnas it include, uh, includes everything which are significant which are not significant with the log fold change of each micro rna in between the two conditions right so we can see the p-values for instance there are out of all the 56,000 here almost so many not not few but still there are around if we if we if we consider 0.05 as the threshold you can see that there are thousands of uh, microRNAs which are 
uh, differentially expressed with the p value which is less than 0 0.05 it's almost there yeah so if you see here so there are 2600 if you see this number 2614 microRNAs which have a significant p value and we can say that all these are differentially expressed or they are significant expression and then based on your threshold what uh, fold change you want to see and uh, what is your own question of interest you can go through right so i think that's enough and uh, so I've, I've gone through each step in in too much detail so that you can understand how it actually works that um, uh, the how each each command works and how you can go get your answers of your question thank you uh, i will try to um, upload this script as well in the description but uh, youtube doesn't accept greater than sign so i will change that with some angle bracket command so don't copy paste it just follow the tutorial and also change the script uh, slides change it when you want to use it as it is as it is available in the description thank you